Down to Father's Day, it is a perfect opportunity to treat Dad to a brunch, so why not create a meal with a super immunity punch? Now, in her new book, The Paleo Cookbook for Dummies, nutritionist Dr. Kellyanne Petrucci reveals ways to turn everyday foods into superfoods by avoiding five common ingredients. And Dr. Petrucci is here to explain why, and we should tell everybody... There's no gluten, there's no this, there's no that, but it smells really good in here, doesn't it? No dairy, ah, no, no dairy, gluten, yes. all mm -hmm. whole foods. But you yeah. can still eat delicious. You can still, that's the whole point. Right. You still okay, can. Okay, let's talk about this diet mm -hmm. because it's been around for a while mm -hmm. in different forms, right? Mm -hmm. And when we think of, when we think of that, we think of the hunter-gatherer, right? Getting the natural things in our environment, not eating the, the big, processed foods. Right. The big idea is that we're actually designed to eat certain foods. And when we eat these foods, we look and feel our absolute best. Okay. And it really works well. well. So what do we start? Yeah, yeah. Take us through okay. some of this and what should we not be eating? Okay. Mm -hmm. The most important thing anyone can do for their diet is get rid of the processed oils. The corn oil, canola oil, mm -hmm. all these oils, they're actually really highly processed oils. Okay. And they go rancid really quickly. So what that means to you and what that means to dad is inflammation. Heart disease is related to inflammation. Mm -hmm. So if you want to keep dad's heart well, you've got to stay away from the processed oils. The biggest message I have is that. And olive oil is such a good option. Okay, but what such about, what about uh, if you want to cook, and you know some oils burn faster than others. That's Grapefruit? the whole point. Smoke okay. point. Smoke. Okay. Canola, canola oil, all those oils, not good, but you said olive oil. Mm -hmm. Right. A wonderful oil, but if you cook too high right. with olive oil, it's you not ruin good. it. So the option so, is? I love coconut oil. Okay. Coconut, coconut oil, oil is a oil. great option. Terrific option. Really? Every, yes. I would, I would not have thought that. No. Okay. And not only that, it keeps you looking Great and well. feeling beautiful. All right. Absolutely okay. incredible. All right. Olive Stir oil, fry, coconut oil. Okay. make that with uh -huh. some, uh, some coconut oil. It tastes terrific. And you know, it's interesting because coconut oil has gotten a bad rap, too. And it shouldn't. Because right. Remember with all the popcorn it's got stuff? Yeah. Every yeah. health property mm -hmm. that you can imagine is in there. Okay. okay. Yeah. Okay. And it's that's, a wrinkle blaster, that's new. by the Ooh, way. We like that. We're going to so. slam it on the coconut oil. Rub it on my skin. Okay. What else? What's really important, these vegetarian meats that are out today, not good. In fact, they claim they have soy in them. Most of the time, all they are is gluten and a poor quality oil. Not a good combination. So they're making up for the fat and other things by oh, Franken foods. We really? Call them, we call them Franken foods. Veggie patties. Ve stay all away of it. from it. Okay. Stay away. Okay. Let's stick to the real stuff. I love salmon burgers. Mm -hmm. They're terrific. Great quality oil. Good protein. Mm -hmm. Get you in the zone. Mm -hmm. A great option. How do you feel about red meat burgers if they're low fat? I think red meat burgers mm -hmm. are one of the best things you can have, especially if you do grass-fed meat. Okay. If you can do grass-fed meat, then you have good oils in there. You can eat as much of that as you want. Really? Uh, yes. Well, okay. Um, Another thing I didn't know. Thank the you. The choices are really important. But you want to make it make sure it's you lean. Can, you can flip the switch. Okay. So quickly in okay. your health by your choices. Wow. Okay. okay. Interesting. Okay. Yeah. And over so, here. Sugars. Okay. Don't think just because you're using an artificial sweetener that gives you oh. a free pass. Right. You still can get diabetes, so many heart problems. This is a real problem. Again, inflammation. Mm -hmm. Keeping the inflammation away is so important. So things like honey, things like maple syrup, they actually bring health to your body because, yes, you're still getting sugar, but you're getting value, too. You're getting mm -hmm. B vitamins. Huh. You're getting propolis in the honey, which is great for immunity. It, okay. Is brown sugar any better? It's the same stuff. Okay. It's just highly processed. Okay. okay. What do you Again, think of agave nectar? Agave nectar is on the no list. Okay, a lot of problems. we hear a, a lot, lot about right. that. No, Stick that, with the again, honey if you're going to do that, honey, maple syrup, dark chocolate, all good choices. Okay, the uh, the rest is too refined. That's again. what you're using to sweeten things like this. Yes, look at this: oh. gluten free, okay. dairy free, mm -hmm. has a little bit of honey. That's it. It's coffee cake, delicious. Pretty. Mm -hmm. Very pretty yeah. over here. Yeah. Okay, and then what are we talking so, about over here? Flour. Why okay. I don't like flour so much? Because they're nutrient void. So what this creates is malnutrition. Okay. So even though you're eating food, it doesn't mean you're getting the nutrients you need. Right. It still can create malnutrition, obesity, big problem. These cookies mm -hmm. made with almond flour. Super mm -hmm. good. Your kids will love these. My kids love almond these. Almond flour. These almond flour. Okay. Great cho choice. And again, so many people with gluten problems wipes that off the table. And do you use that like regular flour? You can in use a it one to one all the time. Wow. Okay. Coconut meal, okay. almond mm -hmm. flour, this is all delicious. good. Sodium. Talk about that. This is important Huge. for dad. Hypertension, big problem. Salt can either kill you or make you well, depending again on that one flip mm -hmm. of the switch, that one choice. Table salt, terrible for you. If you use a Celtic sea salt, it mineralizes the body. There's caking products in there. I mean, it's so highly processed, the regular table salt. But Celtic sea salt, 
full of minerals. Sea every salt. Okay. Every every cell, every structure of your body you needs minerals. You bake with that too. Yes, oh, beautifully. You have. Yeah. There've been so many good tips, and yes. we hate to wrap it up, wow. but we yeah. have to. It was so great having you on today, and everybody at home, you can read more about how to boost immunity and the foods to avoid in Dr. Petrucci's book, The Paleo Cookbook for Dummies. And you're going to find the recipes for the dishes we just talked about on our website, abc7chicago.com. You know how many times I said wow in that segment? Mm -hmm. All the things I, I didn't know. That's great. Thank, Thank you for you. coming in this Thanks morning. Thanks for having me. Thank you.